So this thing is made up of an 8-pin vacuum tube and um, there's a panel on the bottom with some screws. You charge it, or not charge it, but power it via a USB cable on the back. Um, there's no battery in it, so there's no charging. You can just remove this 8-pin tubes. And there's a socket on the top and an LED in the middle. That's what gives us the light. We'll open it up and have a look inside. So under the cover we've got an Arduino Nano, which you can pull out. And underneath that we have um, a sound detection board, a 5 volt sound detection board. It's got a microphone up here and then a little potentiometer here which we can use to adjust the sensitivity of detecting noise, so how loud the noise has to be before we can detect it. And underneath here we've got the LED that uh, we're going to program and send colors to. That's it. Also on the bottom we do have a hole here which we can use to reset the Arduino. And we have access to see the four indicator LEDs that are on the Arduino through this um, four holes over here. That's it. We've got sort of a steampunk style paint job on it and we have um, eight of these screws that are added for decorative purposes. I've also put some numbers on it just to give it my own style. You can see some of the aging paint job that was applied to it. In order to load the code on the Arduino, we need to make sure it's selected under ports and um, have the correct bootloader type selected. Mine is an old one. And then once we have the Arduino software open, which is available on Thingiverse, go ahead and upload it. And we're done.